In this video, we're going to be discussing the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. So first off, let's talk about what it means for lines to be either parallel or per perpendicular. Parallel lines are lines that run beside each other forever without ever intersecting, meaning they never touch. So here's an example of parallel lines. If I was to take these lines and draw them all the way across the screen this way, all the way across the screen this way, they'd go on forever without ever intersecting with each other. Perpendicular lines, on the other hand, do intersect, and they intersect specifically at right angles. In case you forgot what that means, a right angle is a 90 degree angle. And there's one other type of line, or set of lines that I didn't put on here, and I probably should, so you know. And that is, if I take two lines, make this a little smaller, if I take two lines that intersect but are not at a right angle, so if I take, for example, and draw this line and this line, okay, these lines are not at a right angle, but they do intersect, and these are called skew lines. So parallel lines never touch. Skew lines do touch w one time, but the angles are whatever they want to be, and perpendicular lines intersect at right angles. So those are the different type of intersecting lines that we can have. So let's talk about the slopes of parallel lines. Well, slopes of parallel lines are exactly the same. If two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. For example, if we look here, this is y equals 2x plus 3, and this is y equals 2x plus 1. Parallel lines have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. If you remember back to when we were solving equations and we were talking about how many solutions an equation has, remember we said that if I gave you an equation where it had the same coefficient on both sides, but different constants, like 3x plus 2 equals 3x minus 1. Remember, we talked about how this equation had no solution. Well, similarly, these equations, 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 1, if I was able to set them equal to each other, 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 1, you'll notice these have no solution. So the solution to an equation is simply where the lines intersect, and in this case, with parallel lines, they never intersect. So the key thing to notice about this is that parallel lines have the same slope. So, let's look at an example of how we can use this. It says, find the slope of a line parallel to 2x plus 3y equals 9. So we need to know that if we find the slope of this line, the slope of a line parallel to it will be equal to the slope of this line. So all I need to do is find the slope of this line, and I'll know the slope of the line parallel to it. So to find the slope, I know I need to solve for y in my equation. So I've got 2x plus 3y equals 9. My first step is going to be to subtract 2x on both sides. I get 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. Then I'm going to divide by 3. And so I get y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 3. And you should remember from our video on slope that this right here, this coefficient, m equals negative 2 thirds, that is the slope of our line. And since we know the slope of parallel lines are the same, this will be the slope of our parallel line. So if two lines are parallel, they just need to have the exact same slope. Now, perpendicular lines are different. The slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. So let's talk about this. This is a little weird vocab term that some people often have issues understanding. Opposite simply means positive or negative. If I give you a number like 3, its opposite is negative 3. If I give you a number like five, negative 5, its opposite is 5. All right? So that's what I mean by opposite. And reciprocal. What a reciprocal is, is it is if I take 
a fraction and I flip it. So for example, three halves, the reciprocal of three halves is two thirds. All right, and the opposite reciprocal of three halves would be negative two thirds. So opposite reciprocals just means you both flip it and change the sign. And the way you could tell if two numbers are opposite reciprocals is they multiply to get negative one. If I take these two numbers and multiply them, three times two is six, two times three is six. Got a negative in there, so it's negative six over six, which equals negative one. So if, for example, if we take a look at this graph right here, I have y equals three x minus four, and y equals negative one third x plus two. It says that the lines are perpendicular by this right angle here, but we can test it by taking the slope over here, three, and our slope over here, negative one third, and multiplying them. Well, three we know is three over one, Three times negative one, negative three. One times three, three. A negative divided by a positive gives us negative one. So they are in fact perpendicular. And over here I just have some examples of some slopes and slopes of line perpendicular to them. For example, if I gave you a slope of two thirds, the slope of a perpendicular line would be negative three halves. We flip it and change the sign. If I gave you a slope of negative four, the perpendicular slope would be positive one fourth. All right, now the ones that are interesting are horizontal and vertical lines, which if we think about it, just makes sense that if I take a horizontal line, the type of line that will be perpendicular with it will be a vertical line. And since all horizontal lines have a slope of zero, and all vertical lines have a sl sl slope that's undefined, then the original slope, if it's zero, the perpendicular slope will be undefined. If the original slope is undefined, then the perpendicular slope will be zero. So the key thing to know is that the slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals of each other, and they multiply to get negative one. So here's an example. Find the slope of a line perpendicular to the line through negative two, or through two, four, and five, nine. So in order to find the slope of a line perpendicular to this one, I have to first find the slope of the line that I'm given. So I've got 2, 4, and 5, 9. Let's call this x1, y1, and this x2, y2. If I set this up into my slope formula, remember I've got m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Plug these numbers in, 9 minus 4, 5 minus 2, I get 5 thirds. So I got to think, okay, what am I going to do to this to get my slope, slope of my line per, that's perpendicular? Well, we know that they are opposite reciprocals of each other. So I know, I'll call my second slope n. We know for one thing, it's going to be negative because this is positive. And then all we do is we flip it. Three goes up top, five goes on the bottom. So I get n equals negative three fifths. And I can check my work because this slope and this slope should multiply to get negative one if I did it correctly. So five thirds times negative three fifths. That's negative 15 over positive 15, which equals negative one. So the answer to my question is n equals negative three fifths. So all I did is I found the slope of my given line and then I found its opposite reciprocal. So how can we tell if two lines are parallel or perpendicular or maybe neither? Well, the way we do that is we just use the slopes of the line to figure it out. If the slopes are the same, then the lines are parallel. And I should show you the symbol for parallel is just two parallel lines. That's the symbol for parallel. If the slopes are opposite reciprocals, then the lines are perpendicular. And the symbol for perpendicular looks like this. It's a perpendicular angle like that. So that is how we figure out that it's perpendicular. 
We simply figure out if they're opposite reciprocals. And then skew lines, or what we're going to say is neither, is just different slopes. Just different unrelated slopes. If they're not the same or they're not opposite reciprocals, then they are skew lines. So let's take an example of how we could do this. We want to figure out, are these two lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the slope of each line. So I'm going to find the slope of 5x plus 4y equals 12. My first step is to subtract 5x on both sides. I get 4x, 4y minus 5 equals negative 5x plus 12. Divide both sides by 4, I get y equals negative 5 fourths x. So I get m, my slope, is negative 5 fourths. Then I want to take a look over here. I want to solve this equation, 32 minus, 32x minus 40y equals 80. First step, subtract 32x on both sides. I get negative 40y equals negative 32x plus 80. Divide both sides by 40. I get negative 32 divided by negative 40x plus 2. 32 over 40 is 4 fifths, and a negative divided by a positive, or divided by a negative is a positive. So the slope of this line is n equals 5 fourths. So looking at these, they're different, so we know they can't be parallel. The trick now is to see are they perpendicular or neither. Well, these look like opposite reciprocals to me, but I can test it. Negative 5 fourths times 4 fifths. Well, just looking at it, I can tell you that, that they are opposite reciprocals. 5 on the top, 5 on the bottom, 4 on the bottom, 4 on the top. And this one's negative and this one's positive. But we can check our work by seeing if they multiply to negative 1. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. 5 times 4 is 20. Negative 20 divided by positive 20 is negative 1. So these are, in fact, perpendicular lines. Because their slopes are opposite reciprocals of, her, of each other, these are perpendicular lines. So I'm going to leave you with a try it problem tonight that says line L, and that's an L, passes through the points 3, 4, and 4, 6. Line M passes through the points negative 4, negative 8, and 3, 6. Are the lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So... As a hint, your first step should be to find the slope of each line and then use that information to tell me parallel, perpendicular, or neither.